My name is Scott Maloney. I'm the chief innovator for Arrowhead. I do a lot of advising for them specifically in the area of startups, recent startup formation, licensing, technology management, and partnership strategy. So if you're a young company that's looking to figure out its first partner or a young company that's just looking to get the right framework around yourself so that you have early success, I'm, I'm one of the advisors that can help point you in the right direction. What insights and advice do you have for businesses at this time? Kind of fall into two big buckets. From a, a cultural standpoint, there's a lot of unknown out there right now. There's a lot of confusion around what the right thing for businesses to do are. This is the time for you to check in with your teams, check in with your colleagues, and make sure all of you are supporting each other. That feels like a very qualitative and a very soft thing, but it's something that frankly makes the difference when things are a little bit more unknown or a little scarier as a business. Some of the other things that businesses need to be thinking about right now um, specifically are shoring up what they have as revenue sources. All companies, especially health startups, work on a continuous basis of trying to find new sources of revenue for their products, try new channels, try new extensions, new licenses, all these different things. Those are important. We can't let go of those, but now is the time to make sure that if you do have those few channels that are working for revenue, spend some extra time there. Spend some extra time with those customers to make them feel appreciated. Spend some extra time with your business to make sure that that revenue channel is well structured. But now is the time to take a good long hard look at your business from the people all the way down to your revenue model and everything in between and just make sure that those core pieces that keep you alive as a business every day are well where well cared after and, and you're thinking about ways to protect them shore them up or make sure that they're going to survive through a, a more tough time what tips or strategies are important for businesses to implement i'm going to stay away from some of the government programs and things like that because that those are a little bit in the background but tips and strategies right now um, the world hasn't completely stopped i know it feels like it sometimes it feels like nothing's happened and i say that as i have all these hash marks of how many days i've been self-quarantining at home on the whiteboard over there but it hasn't actually stopped you can still reach out and do prospecting for customers. You can still reach out and do customer experience surveys and understand how your customers work with your product. You can still talk to partners and at least put plans in place so that when things do start to return to normal, that you have a leg up. You've already started some of those conversations and you've started the agreements that come with those. We actually at Arrowhead have a, a company right now that's licensing a piece of technology from the university. And they've been very upfront that with all of this this chaos and unrest and COVID-19 that they're not going to make a decision today. But what they do want to do is get a relationship in place, the agreements in place, get the technology in place so that the first day that things feel normal enough for them to return to what they would consider normal enough business, this is already done. This is already in their pocket and they're already moving forward. All of the startups in our, in our state and all of the startups from Arrowhead and everywhere really need to be thinking about those same things. This is a chance to plan. This, as I, you know, I look around the quiet of my solitude working from my living room here instead of an office, um, this is the time for you to pick up and complete those things that put you in a better position for tomorrow. The things that we often put down because we're too busy or we have too many things going on as founders for different companies. Now's the time. So think about those customers, think about those partnerships, think about the things that make your business go. And if you find that you're really bored and starting to get cabin fevery because it's the 19th or the 29th or the 59th day that you've been self quarantining, spend that time and meet a new partner virtually. You'd be amazed how responsive people are being on LinkedIn these days because that's the only thing they're doing. They're sitting in front of their laptops. So prep for day one, even if we can't pretend that it's day one right now. What resources can businesses look to for support? Look for those support organizations. They're still there. They're still working. I mean, I, I look at our colleagues here at Arrowhead. We have incredibly talented staff. And yes, they may all be working from their front patios or their living room or home office or, I mean, gosh, I don't know what, but 
they're still working. They're still working well. And they're providing great support for companies up and down the state, and frankly, even beyond the state. So look for those different organizations that historically support businesses in your area, whether they be accelerators or incubators, whether they be small business centers, whether they be any of the above. Because what you'll find is while the people are more remote today, in a lot of ways, they might be more accessible because they're happy to help. They're eager to help. Now is the time for us to help each other. Other things that I would point people to is the not official support organizations like an Arrowhead or like a small business association, but I'd, I'd point you to the unofficial ones. Your other companies out there. We, none of us as, as entrepreneurs exist in a vacuum. We all interact with other businesses and that interaction often is very formal. It's sharing of marketing spend, it's revenue dollars, it's partnerships and technology, all these different things. But it's okay for that partnership to also just be there for each other, be the founder that reaches out to other founders and supports them mentally, emotionally, culturally, as we kind of go through this tough spot, but also take this as an opportunity to be ready for when things do revert to some kind of normal. I, I had hinted at earlier that companies are using this quote unquote downtime to prep for when things start to get back to normal those resources around the state, look to your peer companies, the ones you always wanted to do a marketing campaign with, the ones that you always wanted to feature in your newsletter and hoped that they would feature you in theirs. Now's the time to set that up. Those are amazing resources that a lot of people, frankly, are a lot more interested in having that conversation today because it's mutually beneficial and helps us all kind of move through this. Any final thoughts I have? Honestly, I'm, I'm trying not to be sappy about this, but it's I think it's important to mention, I always used to be the guy who would roll his eyes when someone said, don't worry, it's going to be better tomorrow. That's hard to hear when it's today and today is hard. But the truth of the matter is, and after God, more decades doing this than I probably should admit out loud, I have actually learned there is going to be a tomorrow. It may look a little different. It may feel a little different, but it'll be there. It'll be there eventually. So my point is hang in there, hang in there and try not to let the craziness of everything going on right now, get too deep into your bones. Try not to let it become who you are. Instead, try to look at this as something to work through and work past and help those around you doing the same thing. And then as you have a little bit of time, which all of us seem to have a bit more of on our hands these days, as you have a little bit of time, go to town on your business, give it a checkup, see what's working, what isn't. Go to that to-do list. I have that to-do list. We all have that to-do list of things we put off because they're tiny little things that don't seem to matter and they just sit in the background. Get rid of it. It'll feel great. It'll feel great to check those things off. So as, as a final point, just remember there's going to be a tomorrow. So don't skimp on things today just because they got hard. Don't lose positive attitude just because it feels like today was another monotonous day. There'll be a tomorrow and you'll be ready for it. This video was brought to you by the New Mexico Economic Development Department, Office of Science and Technology. Discover more resources to support your business at arrowheadcenter.nmsu.edu.